Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to my workshop. And in this video, I'm going to be making a circle jig for my router table. I've been cutting a lot of circles lately, so I decided it was high time to build a proper jig. Now, most of the circle cutting jigs that I've seen are for handheld routers. The workpiece is clamped and the router moves around the workpiece in a circle. But with a router table, the router is fixed so the jig needs to move the workpiece rather than the tool and I found a simple design so I thought I'd give it a go. The jig uses a single piece of 18mm ply for the track and a small piece of hardwood for the carriage. The dimensions are arbitrary but the track wants to be about one and a half inches wide and a little longer than the maximum radius you think you will cut. I cut this out of my MFT style work pinch using my track saw and speed square for support. Let me explain what I'm doing here. I want to route a groove down the centre of this piece of wood. I've used my router depth gauge to set the blade so that the centre of the blade should be where the centre of the wood is. I need to route this, I'm probably going to do it about 9mm, maybe 10mm deep and um, I've set the router blade at the moment to just under one millimetre and I'll go up in one millimetre increments so that I don't put too much stress on the blade and there's nowhere for the dust to go really other than down so that's all set up let's do some routing I made some marks on the router table so I'd know where to start and stop and took a few passes altering the depth as I went I then drilled a pilot hole the same size as the router bit, fitted this over the bit on the router table and cut a slot the length of the groove I'd previously cut. To complete the track I raised the bit and cut a groove in the end. I then found a piece of hardwood for the carriage and roughly cut it to size using my band saw. I then fitted an M6 threaded insert into it. I then trimmed the end of the ferrule flush with the wood and using my belt sander I sanded the part and rounded off the ends. I then drilled a 2.5mm hole in the carriage. This will hold the pin that secures the jig to the workpiece. And to make the pin I used a cheap Chinese drill bit. These drill bits seduce me with their price, but they really are useless. As well as cutting them easily with a hacksaw, they also bend, something I've never seen a drill bit do before. The carriage now complete, all that's left is to make the knob and I'm using one I salvaged from an old Black & Decker worktop router table. And that is basically it. To cut a circle you first drill a 2.5mm hole where you want the centre to be. Now in beam compass mode you can draw your circle and then rough cut it on the bandsaw, finally finishing it on the router table. The router bit I'm using is a flush cut bit, so it has a bearing on the top. This fits in the notch we cut out of the jig. It's then just a matter of turning the workpiece. Note I started turning it the wrong way before correcting myself. Even so I got a perfect circle at the exact radius I needed for my next project. To find out what I'm making, remember to subscribe. Well I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, then please leave a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you subscribed. And as always, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.